Ex-Mongols boss Toby Mitchell has taken a swipe at his former club on social media, sending a clear message that he still holds the power. Mitchell posted to Instagram a picture of him with more than a dozen other men, including fellow ousted Mongols, with the caption, What the fuck did you think would happen? Included in the photo, taken in South Bank on Wednesday night, is Mark Balsali, the gang's former national sergeant at arms, and boxer Sam the Punisher Abdul Rahim. Both were among key Mongols booted from the gang days after Mitchell. Balsali, 37, who is facing cocaine trafficking charges, was a member of the Comancheros until he was shot multiple times in Melbourne in 2017 in what was believed to be an attempted gang hit. A $500,000 Lamborghini Huracan was among luxury cars seized by Victorian police as alleged proceeds of crime during their investigation. Sam or Suleiman Abdul Rahim, 30, Known as the Punisher is a professional boxer, he is the former boyfriend of Married at First Sight star Jessica Power. He spent two years in jail over a high-speed crash in his Ferrari 360 Spider in 2015 which left an 88-year-old great-grandmother dead. An underworld source said Balsali and Abdul Rahim were thrown out of the Mongols for treachery to the club and their close association with Mitchell. One of Australia's most identifiable underworld figures, Mitchell has a wide network of connections including powerful Middle Eastern organized crime players. Following this on Saturday, as if to reply the post, a large contingent of Mongols bikies left the club's Port Melbourne headquarters bound for Seymour, in an apparent show of force. The weekend ride is the gang's first public display since Forbes took over. Anti-bikey police from the ECHO task force, as well as local officers closely monitor the ride. Inside sources have claimed about 40 members have turned their back on the Mongols since it was overtaken in April by Queenslanders Nick the Knife Forbes and Phil Main. With Underworld insiders suggesting the club is jinxed. Since then there has been significant friction between past and present members, with Mitchell keen to show he still holds power. Sources claim the Mongols may struggle to remain viable in Victoria, speculating just a few bikies remain tied to the gang. The nation's bikie scene has been left with a power vacuum, with Mitchell and his key crew now going their own way. Veteran Mongol Tyrone Bell, who is the longest serving Victorian member, has been elevated to vice president of the Mongols since the power shift. But it's been claimed most members from the Melbourne chapter left, while the gang's north side and Achuka chapter's membership was also decimated. The Achuka chapter was led by Jason Addison, a former Bondito national president who was exiled by that club several years ago. International chapters in Russia, Ukraine and Indonesia are said to have folded and dismantled in the fallout. These chapters had strong loyalties to Mark Balsali, himself a former Comanchero and the driver of a major international patch over years ago. Balsali recruited Russian Comanchero to the Mongols in 2019. It is still unclear if Mitchell will join another MC or stay a free agent. Reporters always keep a close eye on Mitchell's Instagram stories and posts.